In this last section of this series, I would like to show you how a non-access point client reacts to these access points. So I have here um, a client which has two types of clients. Um, CSSC, the Cisco client, because it's a bit specific, and at the background, an Intel client, which is just a normal client. So as you remember from the previous video, my access point is set here to allow open with zip, which is going to allow it fast. And I will need to create a profile in CSSC to associate to the SSID. As I do so, I need to use the CSSC management utility because I want to allow uh, automatic pack provisioning and there is no way that the client has the feature to allow this automatic pack provisioning. So I need to use the CSSC management uh, utility to get one box where I can check automatic pack provisioning. Um, so it's a tool by which you can create profiles and push them to your clients. So I'm adding a new network, Wi-Fi type, it's my SSID, it's an authenticating network. Association mode is WPA2 AES. I'm using the CMP here. It's a user connection in that example. And I'm using EPFAST. And as I configure it, that one box I want to check is right here. If using packs, allow unauthenticated pack provisioning. Still the same username as on my access point. The external um, identity pattern doesn't matter, right? That's the outer name that you send, but it's not the real username and password. OK, let's check it out. I go back to my CSSC client, disable and re-enable the client to reload the configuration file. My SSID is here, and let's try to associate to it. And as you can see, I get through without any problem. Actually, it goes quite fast, but I, I fail the first time, then I get the pack, then I try second time, and it works. Okay, no doubt it's going to work the same way with uh, the Intel, so there is no problem here, actually. Um, the next item I'd like to show you, and which is where it gets a little bit less uh, obvious, is if I want to go back on my SSID to network heap, that is to say allow leap, right? Because we said that network heap equals leap. So I go back to my SSID, allow network heap and remove open uh, authentication with heap. And if you remember from my access point video, um, I should be able only to associate using leap and not heap fast anymore. Okay, same morning, network heap is leap, fine. When I go back to my client, and re-enable it. The client tries to associate, but you'll see I can stay there for hours. It's going to stay stuck at this associating level. I'll say, yeah, it's normal because you are using it fast and now you're only using leap, so you need to modify your profile. Okay, let's do that. So I go back to my management utility, modify my existing profile, my SSID. I keep the same initial parameters, but at the authentication page, I'm going to state it's leap instead of ePast, right here. So my AP is using network heap, and my client is now happily using leap as well, because it's network heap. OK, let's try. I re-enable the client. Long story short, I can still wait here for hours. It's going to stay still at this stage, associating. It's not going to work again. And this is not because of um, the configuration of my access point. It's because of the CSSC being special. <laughs> if I use another client, uh, the Intel client, for example, it's going to work perfectly fine. Let's do it. So I'm disabling the CSSC and switch over to the Intel client on the same machine so you can see that it's not uh, something which is linked to uh, the, the card or anything like that. It's just the uh, client utility itself. Trying to connect to my SSID. As usual, the client is detecting the encryption mechanism ASCCMP, but it has no way of knowing what dot uh, one x flavor you want to use inside uh, that um, WPA2 mechanism. So I'm saying it's leap in this case. Your name Jerome, password Jerome. And it works immediately. So CSSC doesn't want to associate with that network heap, but another client, a non CSSC client, will do it uh, without any problem. Um, to show you what, what's going on with the CSSC, in fact, the CSSC is a bit um, special, temperamental client, it needs to have open with heap. 
So if I go back to my AP and set open with heap and no network heap, If I go back to my client, Intel doesn't connect anymore because we are using this time open with leap and open with leap is not leap and here I'm using leap. So what I need to do here is to change the profile to tell the uh, Intel client it's going to use um, it fast and it will work. Whereas if I go to the CSSC And you remember, my CSSC client is still set to use a leap on that profile that was not working. So I'm using a leap with the CSSC, and yet on the access point, I'm setting to open with heap and not with network heap. And you see straight away the client goes through. And as you can see here, it goes through using leap. Confusing, isn't it? Well, you're not alone. Okay, so in summary, this is how it works. When you use a radio link to a Cisco access point, if your client is another Cisco access point, if you want to use leap on this link, you need to set network heap if it's a Cisco access point. If it's a Cisco access point and you want to use heap fast or peep, you need to set open with heap on Cisco access point. If your client is a CSSC, well, you need to use open with heap in any case. Open with heap with leap and open with heap with heap fast. CSSC doesn't like network heap, it only likes open with heap. If it's a, any other normal client, well, network heap equals leap and open with heap equals any other heap, that is to say heap fast, peep, heap TLS, etc. If you have a couple of access points at home, I suggest you work on that. Uh, you'll see, get used to it. Okay. I hope it was useful for you. I would like to thank you for watching.